box. Yes, and the pills for my hay fever. Well, you make sure you take them. I do, but they don't do any good. Well, have you got your puncture repair outfit? Yeah, I gave it to Julian. Now, don't flap. Julian, promise to call every day, won't you? Okay, Uncle Quentin. All right. Are you going up Middlecombe Way? Yes, why? Take a look in the woods. There are badgers there at night. And ghosts. Oh, don't. Timmy would scare away any ghosts. Timmy, I'm relying on you. <laughs> I wouldn't have allowed you to go without him in any case. We'll be all right, Uncle. Are you sure you haven't forgotten anything? Positive. Now, don't flap. Goodbye. Oh, and in case we're not back in time, happy Christmas. Now, come, 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 come. Come on, Timmy, get up. Good boy. Bye-bye, Mum. See you, folks. Bye. Take care. Bye, everyone. Now, for some peace and quiet at last. Breakfast! Come on, George, get up. Mm. Come on! Oh, refreshing anyway. Yes. Okay? A bit nippy. I always knew you two were mad. Thanks. Yes, they're done. You ready? Oi! Who's this? No idea. What are you doing on my land? Your land? Well, my father's. We didn't know it was private. There aren't any signs. Hey, sausages. They're private too. Did you camp here overnight? Yes. Look, we'll go if you like. Where? Wherever we feel like. We were thinking of heading for Middlecombe Woods tonight. I know. I'll come with you. Hey, just a minute. I'll stay with my aunt. She lives up there. Just go and tell Mum. Bye. Hey. See you on the road. Hey, look, wait. Cool, he's got a nerve. Probably spoilt. If his father owns all this, he must be rich. Well, we don't want him tagging along with us. No, that'll be the last we see of him. I hope. Better wake George up. Come on, George, wake up. Time for you to do the washing up. Ooh. Oh, well, pity to wake up. Better give Timmy one of her sausages. Here you are, Timmy, have a sausage. Don't you dare. <laughs> Hi. Can't you go any faster? Hey! Whoa, stop! Come on. I'll show you the way. Hold on. Let's just get something straight, shall we? I know the road's all right. Hang on. Don't just invite yourself. How do you know we want you? Why shouldn't you? That's our choice, not yours. Now, hold on, George. Look, we don't even know who you are. I'm Richard Kent. My father, Thurlow Kent. Not the Thurlow Kent who's down to his last 20 million. How many other Thurlow Kents are there? Blimey. Uh, I'm Anne. This is Julian, Dick, and George. <coughs> oh, and Timmy. <laughs> well, if you're sure your mother won't mind. No, she'll ring my aunt and I'll stay with her. Come on, let's go. Okay, but you stay behind where I can keep an eye on you. Oh. Anne, George, you leave. But I know the way. So do we. Now get at the back. Go on, then, if you're coming. Rich 
Richard! Richard! Oh, stop showing off! Stop, Richard! You'll get run over! Look! No hands! Bet you can't Richard. do this! It's dangerous! No, it isn't! Look! I can! Richard! We're going to stop now. And unless you stop misbehaving, you're going to go home! Listen, one more childish trick from you and we go on without you. You can't stop me. Oh, we can. Don't you worry. How? Ever tried riding with two flat tyres? Oh, all right. Let's get going properly this time. Middlecombe Woods must be just down there. If we're there, we can cycle up that path. Mm -hmm. Richard's aunt's house must be just along there. He's had enough. Only three more miles, Richard. What? Don't worry. Your aunt's house must be just along there. We're off to set up camp in the woods, OK? Right. Bye. Bye. Not much. Smashing. There's a farm just over there. Who's coming to get supplies with me? I will. Come on, Tim. Say it was. Richard Kent. Grab him and bring him to Al's Dean. I can't hang about here now. I've got a score to sell with that little brat. This lot okay? Oh, terrific. That'll really keep us warm all night. I hope the others hurry up. I need something to eat. I'm starving. Quick! They're after me! Where's Timmy? Well, who's after you? Hey, where's Timmy? They've gone down to the farm. Oh, no! Richard, wait! Who's after you? Hey, he looked really scared. Can you hear anything? Nothing. I'll take a look from that tree. Good idea. Nah, could always use your pocket money. George! Timmy! Who's that? Who else? Oh. Help! Julian, help! What's up? They're after me. Set Timmy on them, George. They're after me. Oh, come on. <laughs> So, you thought you could give us a slip, eh? What do you mean? Hey, <laughs> you know. Run away as soon as you saw Rocky, didn't you? Well, that won't do you much good. Wait, I'm not the one you're looking for. Oh, no? What's your name, then? Dick. Yeah? You can't fool us. Dick, Richard, so what? But I'm Dick Kieran, not Richard Kent. How'd you know his name, then? And who we were looking for. Oh, <laughs> Kieran Kent. Couldn't you think of a better name than Kieran? Hey, come on. Wait, stop! 
Help! Why do you know it's good for you, son? You'll be in trouble when the police hear about this. Well, they won't hear about this, Sonny. The police never hear about anything that happens at all. Jake, Anne! There's nobody here. Oh, thank heavens, you're back! What's up? Two men. They've taken Dick. I didn't get a look at them. I was up that tree. They think he's Richard. Richard? Who were those men? You've got some explaining to do. Come on, Dick's in danger. Well, it was Rookie. He recognised me. They got out of the car and chased me. I thought Timmy could stop them. Rookie? Who's he? Why does he want you anyway? He used to be my father's bodyguard. He bullied me all the time. But I caught him stealing. And he was sacked and went to jail. And now he wants his own back. I don't understand. Why did he take Dick? This man Rookie wasn't here. I heard the other men talking about him. They said where they're taking Dick. To Al Steen. Al Steen. Come on, let's have a look on the map. When they find they've got the wrong boy, they'll let Dick go, won't they? They're not going to bring him back here, are they? No, he won't know where to find us. Here's Owl's Hill. Owl's Dean must be somewhere about here. Look, there's a big building marked. Come on, let's take a look. What about me? What about you? Can't stay here. Go back to your aunt's then. I can't. There's no one there. So you didn't ask your mother whether you could come with us? She wouldn't have let me. I could see why. You'd better stay with us. But I'm the one Rookie's after. If he sees me, he'll... Look! You've caused enough trouble as it is. Either you start helping or go home. Now, where's your bike? In there. Well, get it then! Come on. No, wait a minute. What's up? A car without any lights, stopping in a lonely place like this. Better be careful, hmm? Yeah. It's the car Rookie was driving. I remember the number. Let's get out of here. No. <coughs> Listen. <coughs> Shh, Timmy. A signal. And there's the answer. Now what? You lot stay here. Come on, hurry! these clothes. We don't want to get caught with them in the car. We don't want them lying around here. Fine. So what was the number then, eh? Clever Dick. VHK-464S. Just testing. Jimmy. What are these? Prison clothes. There was a man waiting here. I saw him change into some others. Why? Well, this is a prison uniform. I should think he's an escaped convict. Hey, we got the car number. 
Great. Let's just hope there's a phone between here and Al's Hill. Al Steen, this is it. Looks formidable. How do we get in? Look! Come the bikes. Hide over there. Run for it! Hurry, in that ditch over there. Better scout around. Could be all night before another vehicle comes in or out of here. Come on. Hey, I think it's got electricity. It's making my hand tingle. We'll leave it alone. It might be an alarm as well. The car's coming back. Quick, undercover, in the grass. Come Jimmy. on. Jimmy, hurry up! No, why two? This is the middle of nowhere. No, we'd better stick together. Okay. Tim, come on. What a house. Look. We're shut in now. If Dick's a prisoner here, then so are we. The difference is, they don't know about us. And we've got to get him out. Come on. Julian! It's a light it's in the window. It must be Dick, signalling for help. It spells... S.O.S. It is him up there. Did he see us, do you think? No, it's too dark. We can't use our torches either. They might be seen. Come on. George, keep Timmy quiet. Shh. Quick, get under cover. Get in now. Come on. No choice. There might be a phone inside. I saw some wires round the back. Well, here goes. Look after my torch, please, George. 
You don't have to come if you don't want to, Richard. I'll come with you. Good man. Julian, here's your torch. <laughs> I left Timmy outside. Okay, up till now. We'll scout around the house. Use this room as our base. If you find Dick, come straight back here. If you find a phone, call the police. No. You want the police, do you? We shall have to tell the boss about that. I don't think he'll be very pleased with you at all. We've got some visitors, Aggie. I'm sure you could cook them one of your delicious hot meals now, couldn't you? <laughs> Yes, yes, whatever you're saying. No, no, you're not going to, no. Children who break into other people's properties at night don't deserve to get the five-star treatment, no. <laughs> They're more likely to get the five-stroke treatment from my... George? Yes? Do you think he's trying to scare us? No, I think he's trying to make us laugh. Not succeeding, is he, George? Oh, I don't know. Anne's laughing. Now you listen to me, you little. One more squeak from you and I'll oil you. Who are these youngsters? Trespassers, Mr. Perton, sir. Broke in through the old parlor window. That's not true. It was open. Shut up! Ted and me, we caught them, Mr. Perton, sir. I heard them say they was going to call the police. Police, eh? Now, why should people trespassing on my property want to call the police? Because we happen to know that you're keeping our brother prisoner here. Clumsy fool! Quiet, quiet. So I'm keeping your brother prisoner here. Now, <laughs> why should anyone want to do a thing like that? Why don't you ask Rookie? Rookie? Who's that? Oh, well, if Dick isn't here, then you won't mind us using your phone to phone the police. I'm sorry, we're uh, not on the telephone here. <sighs> really, I uh, don't understand any of this. Um, it's very late. Where do you live? We're camping. Oh. Well, let's leave it till morning then, shall we? Aggie, fix them up in the attic, would you? I only hope you won't be too uh, uncomfortable.